Darlington Motor Speedway is the home of the fifth race in the Reebok Cup Series Season 3. After the, the series moved from Richmond into Darlington, points leader Denny Hamlin starts second today. Jimmy Johnson starts third. He's just a few points out of the chase. Can he make it in tonight? The bubble drivers are, we have Marcus Ambrose, sixth in the points, just three points in as of right now. The last, the driver who in the last chase spot is Carl Edwards. He's got a two-point advantage over Tony Stewart coming into this race here. Also, Ryan, guys like Ryan Newman and Jimmy Johnson are just out of chase right now. We also have guys like Clint Boyer and Dale Earnhardt Jr. who are just slightly out of contention. There was still one race to go until the chase. The Darlington International Raceway to decide who gets into the chase. On row one, we have the five car of Casey Kane and the 11 of Danny Hamlin. On row two, we have Hendrick teammates Jimmy Johnson in the 48 and Jeff Gordon in the 24. Starting in row three today, we have the 16 car of Greg Biffle and the 18 of Kyle Busch. Rolling off the field in row four, we have the two car of Brad Keselowski and the 14 of Tony Stewart, one of those bubble drivers. In row five, we have the nine of Marcus Ambrose and the 15 of Clint Boyer. Rolling off the field today in row six, we have the 39 of Ryan Newman and the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. In row 7, we have the 22 of Joey Logano and the 20 car of Matt Kenseth. And in row 8 today, we have the 56 car of Martin Trucks Jr. and the 99 of Carl Edwards, another bubble driver. In row 9, we have the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the 10 car of Danica Patrick. Rolling off in row 10, we have the 43 of Eric Amarola and the 42 of Juan Pablo Montoya. And in row 11, we have the 1 car of Jamie McMurray rounding out the field. Fields coming off at turn four. We're green flag racing in the Nomar 600, the last race before the chase. Johnson's going to try to pass Hamlin on for a second, but here comes Greg Biffle. Biffle moves into second as Casey Kane leads the first lap here in Darlington. Kane opens up a pretty big lead on Greg Biffle now, and he's as Kane's going to lead the second lap. Biffle is closing the gap, though, and looks to get to his bumper. Lap three complete here, and Tony Stewart right now is seventh in points. Right, now. He's just hanging on as Greg Biffle's to the bumper of Kane, and he moves him out of the way. Lap five underway. Greg Biffle is here as uh, Logano making the pass on Hamlin for third. Greg Biffle is in the lead now with three laps to go. Can Casey Kane make a move around him? Here comes Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin. Logano trying to close into the bumper of Casey Kane. Two laps to go now. And Logano's to the inside of Kane. Logano gets Biffle loose. White flag in the air. Logano takes the lead. Joey Logano jumps out to a huge lead. Kane and Biffle battling each other for second, but Joey Logano wins the Lamar 600 at Darlington. The first career victory for Joey Logano in the Reebok Cup Series. It comes in the last race before the chase. Joey Logano, Johnny Mills gets the win in the 22. Garrett Sinner comes home second in the 16. Keenan Strike 5 third after leading most of the race. Points leader Alan Cavagnaro finishes fourth. Ian Dutta starts to turn his season around by finishing fifth. LJ Mills sixth here. Matthew Fuller finishes eighth. Matt Damon ninth. He's had a pretty good season along with fellow rookie Sterling Lynch finishing right behind him. Jason Tross finishes 11th. That could be good enough to get him into the chase. Nick Corrin 13th. Carter Fargo 12th. He's had a, he had a good season early but started to fall. Mark Cavagnaro finishes 15th. That may not be enough to hold the final chase spot. Still on very not a very good year for the Ganassi cars. Maybe they can turn it around at Chicago. And uh, here's the standings. These are the chase drivers right here. The 11 of Alan Cavagnaro, him, the 5, 18, and 9 all get two bonus points from having wins this season. Two rookies into the chase this year, as well as the other three drivers without a win. Johnny Mills jumps to 8th in the points, finishing just two points behind Jason Trost in the 14, as well as Mark Avignon were just two points out of the chase. Derek Benash, four out of the chase, and Matthew Fuller, sixth out of the chase. The bottom of the standings, Nick Gorin started picking up a few spots there. Same with NASCAR stop motion, and n still not a very good year for uh, Ganassi, taking the last two spots in the chase. Race 6 is from Chicago.